PLA stands for polylactic acid. It's basically a bioplastic, which is bio-based and biodegradable. One thing to remember about PLA is every time you put a kilogram of PLA in the market, you save about 1.2 to 1.7 kilogram of CO2. So this is really diminishing the footprint of our customers. It's about two thirds of saving of CO2 every time you sell one kilogram of PLA. PLA can be used in very different solutions. It's an innovation that could lead to solution in different segments. We are present in food packaging, we are present in electronics, we are present in film, we are present in agriculture solutions. The feedstock of the PLA could be any type of feedstock bringing enough sugar and a lactic acid in order to, to be able to produce the PLA. This is really a, a very differentiated factor compared to a fossil-based material, which are basically uniquely resourced from oil. So one of the main challenges, as we all know today, is to preserve your environment. There is one key element that we need to do, is to make sure we don't release more CO2 on the planet. Carbon neutrality will not happen by itself. It's not going to happen only with the legislation. It's not going to happen only with guidelines. We all need to act. And that is really what we try to do, to provide solutions. We don't have the solutions, we have a part of the solution. In order to make it happen, in order to save basically CO2 exhaust, we need to partner with different people in the value chains.